always seems to just be a backwards and forwards Right, if they are, let the empire work. What? That's so why is this guy so stupid? Hey, 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 Otherwise, their content provided nothing really of additional value. With extreme games, their videos were mediocre, even tolerable at points. This ultimately meant that if people had an additional reason to watch their content, they normally would if they covered something that might have appealed to their interest. At the same time, they could enter whatever definitely legitimate giveaway the YouTube was hosting and provide them with the views that they desire. On top of this, the fact that extreme games were said they would announce the winner of the future video, most people ate their own desire to watch those future videos. To what they cover. This meant that although they had created over 200,000 subscribers from Pokemon related content, a number that many Pokemon creators would never consider changing their content for, in the extreme world it was rather elementary. They continued their Pokemon content well into 2017. However, at around February time, they started to seemingly mix it up a little. One of the first videos that appears to have been a real benchmark for this change was another private video called $1 Cake versus $870 Cake. At this point, they appeared to begin integrating some new types of videos. Ones that didn't focus around Pokemon, thus beginning the segue to eventually completely save out Pokemon content together. Other videos that I really want to know is one called How I Almost Died. Let's have a quick watch. I take these every single day. Now, if you want to know why, make sure